I'm going to show you how you can borrow £140,000, get paid £12,000 to then own a property that clears £17,000 net profit. Yeah, so we were buying this house in an Article 4 area. It was supposedly a HMO, but it wasn't. So we needed to get planning permission to change the use into a C4 class because we wanted to turn it into seven units, seven units. So we needed to do that. So anyway, the purchase price or like what we offered was £180,000. Now we got that accepted. We had some challenges with removing just there was like one tenant in there. So we had to give a section 21 and wait for that to happen. But the good thing is, see every problem has a has a silver lining as they say. So that gave us time to actually go through the planning uh, process to get a change of use from a C3 to a C4. Yeah, now what we actually did was upon this, on this happening and we got it completed and we got the planning permission, when the bank went out to do the valuation, they valued it at £245,000. We're doing zero work, we could have literally just made £65,000 for doing nothing, for just acquiring, like we could have just sold it on right there and then. Yeah, but we didn't do that. And I'll tell you why we didn't do that, because we're aggressively growing our portfolio. And if you are, subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments what questions you have and what videos you need so you can grow your portfolio as well. Yeah, what we did was, we borrowed £140,000 yeah, from an investor. Now let me tell you what we did with this investor. We actually paid them a 20% return on this figure. That is insane. £140,000, they're getting paid 20% a year on this figure. Yeah, so what we did was uh, we did the construction. Yeah, so where this kind of left us is we used this 140k to pay uh, the deposit here and then there was 95k left over to do the build. Now we actually went over on the build so there was another £20,000 that we needed to put in the deal. Now this came from other projects. If you've been watching any of my videos you know I'm always saying it's super risky. Like people say it's risky to do multiple deals Mark you need to just you know do one deal and get it done. No it's risky to do one deal. So this money that we needed came from other deals uh, that we had successfully done. And, uh, but like if you're not in, in that position, then you just go raise this. And I'll show you how you go and raise this because of how good the deal stacks up. Yeah, so let's go back to this. GDV, now, when I go to go and refinance this, by the way, this happened bang in the middle of 2020. You know what happened in the middle of 2020? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, so bang in the middle of 2020. So we go back, by the way, and we get £460,000 valuation on this particular deal. Yeah, so now 460000 times 75%, that's what they leverage. So the bank, the loan to value at 75%, they give us £345,000. Now, we're going to use that. So let's have a look at the money that's now invested in the deal. We have got the 180 for the purchase price, plus the 95, plus the 20 extra, yeah, plus then there's about 10,000 for the furnishings to get this all furnished. So we are 305 in the deal. So we've spent 305 on it, borrowing some from an investor and the rest from the bank. 305,000, but now they're going to pay us 345,000. So now we pay that off and we're left with 40k. But then we've got to pay the interest to this guy here, yeah, which is 20%, 28,000. So we've got to take the 40,000 that we're left with, take away the 28, bam, there you go, 12,000 pounds. So now I just got paid 12,000 pounds to own this property, which now, right now I just checked 3,475. Yeah, so it's grossing 3,475. So when we've paid the mortgage of this new loan that we've taken out and we've paid the bills, because the bills are inclusive here, we're left with 17,000 pounds, actual figures right there, we just worked that out. 
Yeah, so listen, not only now I'm getting this £12,000 lump sum here, I'm also getting £17,000 a year. This guy's got a big smiley face because he gets paid back, the bank gets paid back, and we've got awesome you know, tenants in here. The management agent loves it as well because he's getting it. Everything is above board, so the council loves it as well. And that, my friends, is how you borrow £140,000. And by the way, this is a very generous figure. You don't always have to give this, but you know, we wanted some speed. That's what was available at the time. Plus, the deal allowed us to do it. We knew that we were going to be around up this figure. Um, you know, because of the training we provide and the many times we've done it. I've been now facilitating near on a thousand deals. My own deals, my business partner's deals, people who have trained deals, people who are my mentors, people in the Millionaire Property Club, like all of these places. So like we know how to get this process right now. You know, and have done for many years. So we knew we were going to get that. So I knew it was okay to pay this 20% here because I knew I'd still be paid this. Yeah, let me know in the comments what is it that you need next to get going. Yeah, direct messages, you know, get in touch with us. Let us help you. Let us help you. In fact, let me show you something. Yeah, in fact, here you go. Look, your path to business and property wealth strategy mindset action to go from zero to two million to 10 million. Now let me tell you why this is important. Number one, you wanna be on your path to your business of property wealth, create some wealth, but you need the strategies. So this is one strategy, this is just one of many strategies, one of eight or nine strategies that we use ourselves and that we teach. But then you have gotta get the right mindset because everyone, like this works, you know, but people are like, oh yeah, but can I do that? Why are people not gonna lend money to me? Oh my God, I don't know. So you're gonna to need to get the right mindset to then make your action efficient. Some people, they just go straight to action. Some people, they just stay at strategy, strategy, strategy. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. And they don't get to the action part because the mindset piece is missing. So they just stay at strategy. So many people, they get into property investing and it just takes over their life. So you've got to set up as a business. Next thing, you know, if I'm going to run three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these at a time, I'm going to need to have teams, aren't I? So again, you're going to need to know how to build teams. Plus, this is one strategy, but you've got to know what strategy is best for you. So that's also in this book. You're going to learn it. Yeah, what areas to invest in. This don't say, hey, invest in this area. This gives you the formula for you to future-proof your business of knowing how to qualify the demand. How do I figure that out? How to find deals, working numbers out, analyzing deals, making offers, managing the project, doing no money down deals, raising finance. So if you've got to get this 140K here or however much is that you've got to raise, how to do it. And then managing a business and a property portfolio and how to stay focused and win. It's in this book, it's on this YouTube channel, it's at our events, you know, get yourself into action and blow this up. And until next time, do the right thing for the right reason, because it's the only way you're going to discover your true potential.